I'm doing a quick review of the Great Earl SR60s. So these were given to me for free, literally. Um, versus the RS3, because I just bought them recently. I also have the SR80. Anyway, these are all plastic. They're entry level budget headphones. They sound relatively good still. Um, all plastic. A lot of people don't know, but some of these parts, you, you can pretty much download all these parts and 3D print them. So if this were to crack, or this were to crack, or this were to crack, you can download all that stuff and then reassemble with some glue. This one is, uh, the, the entire cup is all wood. I don't know what kind of wood. I think there's a tiny amount of plastic side here where they press in the driver and they glue it back inside this. Um, and then this this part is plastic and this part is plastic. Everything else is metal. This is this metal. There's a rod inside there. It's metal. It's flat and it allows you to bend and adjust for your head really easily. If you so like if you buy these brand new and they're too tight, don't be afraid to stretch them. That's what it's for. They're not gonna break. Um, and vice versa, if they're too big, if you buy them from someone used, then go inside. Um, these are, um, they have, let's see my notes, what I write down here. They have more clarity, details, and richness. I'm keeping it really simple, you know, just an average user. A nice, nice 80s, 90s classic look. They're fairly light. They're, they are a little bit heavier than these plastic, but not by much. Very light, which means that um, you can uh, listen to them for a very long time. I think that they're much easier to go outside. And like if I go to the beach, I go to a brewery, I go to a bar, I can listen. You know, drink my beer, read my book, listen to some stuff, whatever. I would take a pair of headphones like this. I'm not a big fan of those giant heavy magnet pans, those giant cans that look like, I don't know how, how heavy, they look heavy. I don't own any of those, but I, I, uh, I don't own any of those. And if I did, I wouldn't take them outside with me on a go. Um, I powered, and when I did my testing, I have the Chord Mojo. This has two outputs, so I literally have them connected at the same time. You guys can see that there's some differences in the cable. This is the 80, this is the SR2E. See that it's even thicker. Even this is a little bit bigger. Okay. This cable will last you forever, it will never break. Some people mind these cables, I do not mind them. I think they're, they're braided cables, they're new ones, even worse. I don't like them because they, they make noise when they rub against something, and these do not make any noise. They don't transfer to the headphones, so I like these, these older ones actually better. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a short review. Really like this headphone, how it looks, how it sounds. Well, one thing, one last thing I want to say about them. A lot of people are probably wondering, do these headphones have bass? They have bass. They definitely have bass. I listened to a couple of tracks of Tupac and some jazz and some other type of music where it has bass. They have bass, they, they just don't go super low. So they don't have boomy bass. It's not like the, the rap music would go boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to make fun of it because I, I used to listen to rap music when I was younger. If, it, I guess the analogy be, would be, see those people that have those cars and they have those giant subwoofers and the whole car shaking. This is not that kind of headphone. If you're looking for something like that, uh, you're looking in the wrong place. The, these are more refined, okay, headphones. They're more classic. They're a little bit, like fine wine, you know what I mean? As you age, you want something, something like that. That's what this is. Um, yeah, the company is out of Brooklyn, New York City. So they're an American company. I watched a couple of their videos. I believe their family owned business. They started out with, uh, I think they were a fruit vendor first. 
and they there were a couple of watchmakers in the family and then they ex extended that skill to making carts for turntables you know the the watchmaking fine details making watch watchmaking the whole thing they they be they were able to transfer that the tool sets and their skills and and do that and then eventually after the dad i believe they transferred and they expanded to making headphones and i don't think they make anything other than headphones and cart and carts so that is that um and in case you're wondering this is the cord mojo um i also bought this to use maybe a month ago really like it and i paid 200 dollars for this and uh this will connect straight to my cell phone and you can use this as a desktop deck as well connected to your um uh regular stereo system you just have to get an adapter that plugs into one of these uh and then the it splits into two rca for left and right channel and you connect that to your in input for your stereo and that's that's about it all right cheers